Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can dominate your opponents with third ball attacks. Now, this is where you serve, your opponent returns, and then you play in a, a strong attacking shot, trying to either win the point or to make yourself the dominant player in the rally. The footage in this video is from a recent tournament which we held at our table tennis club. And there's footage of me doing third ball attacks and there's also footage of my opponents doing very good third ball attacks against me. So if you want to find out how to do strong third ball attacks, keep watching. Let's start with power third ball attacks. This is where you're just trying to finish off the point with one shot. Um, personally, I find it a little easier to do power third ball attacks following a topspin serve. So for example, <clears throat> I often use my backhand side spin with a bit of topspin. My opponent almost always returns the ball with topspin and then I try to power through the ball, finish off the point. So when you do a topspin serve, you're putting quite a bit of energy into the ball. Um, and very often the ball comes back with topspin and it comes back pretty deep and it may come back pretty fast as well. So if you serve and recover and you're too close to the table, you may find it hard to play a powerful third ball attack because you just don't really have space to be able to swing. So when you do your topspin serve, topspin, Recover just a little bit further back from the table. Just make sure you've got this little gap here. Then when your opponent's return comes in deep, um, you have a bit more space to be able to rotate and play with that power. In terms of the, the, the type of contact we want to get, well, I mean, you could hit the ball quite flat um, and that could be quite difficult for your opponent to return. But there's a little more risk in this because when you go for a really flat hit, um, it tends to be just a little less consistent. I think my preference when going for a powerful third ball attack is to do more of a topspin drive. So you're just adding that little bit of brush, you're still getting a decent hit on the ball, but that little bit of brush just brings in that consistency, brings the ball up over the net and makes it dip down onto the table. Another way that you might do a powerful um, third ball attack is if your opponent has just slightly misread the serve and the ball pops up a little bit high, then of course that's your invitation to finish off the point. Now you can do a powerful third ball attack um, by doing a backspin serve and your opponent pushing, giving you a backspin return. Um, but to get the power in, you really need to have um, a 
bit more of a bigger rotation when you do your loop against the backspin ball. Here's some examples from one of my opponents in the tournament, um, Joanne, and he, he does it really, really well. He gets that backspin serve in, big rotation, and an awful lot of acceleration. And as you can see, he's really looping those backspin balls fast and with power and um, difficult for me to return those balls. The other category of third ball attacks is using heavy topspin. Now typically you would do this following a backspin serve. So you do a backspin serve, forcing your opponent to push and then you can do a heavy topspin third ball attack. Now if you get it right with lots of heavy spin, then you may find that your opponent is unable to control your topspin and their return goes long off the end of the table. Or it might be that you're just using your heavy spin third ball attack to get the advantage in the rally. You get the first attack on the table, you put your opponent on the back foot, and then you uh, dominate the point and finish off on maybe the, the fifth, the seventh or the ninth ball. In terms of the type of contact, you know, we're trying to get a really good brush on the ball. We don't want a heavy contact here, we want a really good spinny contact. Um, so you need plenty of acceleration with the swing. You also really need to use your legs well. Your legs can help you um, push up, swing, and that can get some extra momentum into um, the third ball attack. So we serve, we recover, we stay low, use our legs, and then we can generate some really good topspin. In terms of ball placement for your third ball attack, well, look, let's just keep it simple. Um, three positions on the table. Uh, wide forehand, wide backhand, or your opponent's crossover position, that area between their hip and their elbow. If you hit one of those three positions, and if you get the depth on the table, then you're likely to be putting in some really good third ball attacks. I think it's tempting that if you do a serve and try a third ball attack and you miss, you think, oh, that's embarrassing. I'm not gonna do that again. Next time I'll just play it safe. And I think you need to overcome that. You need to accept that when you're trying to do serve and third ball, you are likely to mess it up sometimes. Um, but keep persevering because once it starts going on and once you start getting to a rhythm and once you're starting to find the timing easier and the contact easier, then you can really start to dominate 
your opponent. Not only do you start winning more points, but the whole dynamics of a match can change because as you start winning points with serve and third ball and start dominating in that area, that puts extra pressure on your opponent. Um, so just the very fact that you're being positive and taking the initiative can really make the, your opponent a little more passive or get a little more anxious, adds the pressure onto them. So there we go, that is serve and third ball attack. Thank you very much for watching. I hope there's some useful tips there for you. If you like this video, then please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll have plenty more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye bye.